So um, how many of you remember the name of your third grade teacher? <laughs> I can hardly remember anybody's name, any of my teacher's name. But I remember the name of my third grade teacher. It was Mrs. Castle. And this is a story about why I remember her name. So it started off, <laughs> um, actually this is a story of two surprises. The first surprise happened at my best friend Andrea DeMarco's house in Needham, Massachusetts when I was in third grade. And I was over at her house for the weekend. I, I used to often go to their house uh, for the whole weekend because I think my parents really just wanted to get rid of me. So they, <laughs> they would send me to play over at Andrea's. And Andrea had a really great big house and it was a really a lot of fun. And this one day, it was me and Andrea and Lib, her sister, and this kid, a uh, neighbor kid, and I don't remember his name, but he was a boy. And we were, um, uh, in third grade, we were doing some s and <laughs> No, just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, this story involves some handcuffs. <laughs> so uh, how many of you played with handcuffs when you were in third grade? So um, anyway, we were playing with handcuffs. And I was really tiny. I was like, I was in third grade. I probably looked like I was in first grade. And I had really, really tiny wrists. So someone had the bright idea of tying my hands behind my back with one handcuff behind my back. And if you, uh, you know, physics professor, Dr. Christensen, just, you know, imagine what, what that's like for the uh, person trying to stand straight. Not possible. <laughs> Standing there with one handcuff behind my back. Flip. Just head first into the, into the floor. And um, I lost my big front tooth. So, yeah. Really sad. It came out root and all, right? And so um, Betsy, my, my best friend Andrea's mom, calls my mom and says, uh, Joyce, Joyce, <laughs> Abby's tooth came out. What, what should I do? My mother, who is a dental hygienist, said, stick it back in her mouth right now. I can't. It's dirty. No, stick it back in her mouth. I can't. So my mom gets in the car, rushes from, uh, it takes about half hour to drive from Brookline, Mass, to Needham, Mass, gets to the house, sticks the tooth back in my mouth, and uh, rushes to the dentist. And, um, you know, it was there, it was in there for maybe a couple days. And the next day, I had to go back to school. So um, I go back to school, and I had the sweetest teacher, her name was Mrs. Castle. And she felt really bad for me. And I remember sitting and reading uh, in our reading circle. And uh, she was telling a story or, you know, whatever third grade teachers do. And then she took a little bit of time. <laughs> and she said, Abby, um, come out into the hallway with me. And um, she leaned down and she said, let me show you something. And she took out her tooth which right now I don't have a tooth in my mouth, and she showed me her empty tooth, her gaping tooth, and that was a surprise. And I, that is why I will never forget Mrs. Castle. 